Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And uh, the week begins with lots of sunshine here across the Oracle Text once again on this Tuesday. As you can see, the mostly sunny sky as we take a look at the Oracle Text weather camera in Texarkana. What we're going to be watching over the next several days is going to be a disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico. There is a medium chance now, according to the National Hurricane Center, that we will see this disturbance possibly become a depression. It is forecast to move into South Texas and then gradually up uh, close to, if not a little bit west of the Oracle Tex very late this week into this weekend. Doesn't appear as if it's going to cause any problems for our area, but it will bring us some beneficial rainfall the way it looks right now. Let's take you through the next few days here with uh, Robin's Toyota Futurecast, and you can see that tonight. Uh, we will once again see a clear to partly cloudy sky across the area. Plenty of sunshine returns to the region as we look ahead to your Wednesday. Really don't expect to see much as far as any rain, maybe a small chance for the pop-up shower over the southern edge of the area late in the day. Uh, tomorrow night looking partly cloudy and for Thursday we'll see the beginnings of those scattered showers and thunderstorms across the especially southern half of the area for Thursday and those rainfall chances will be going up. Let's take a look at the next several days here as we look at the overall weather pattern and watch the disturbance down here to the south at the bottom of the screen. That's the uh, tropical system which is going to be approaching the south Texas coast here by midweek. You can see by Wednesday it's uh, very close to uh, uh, basically Corpus Christi. It'll continue to slide into South Texas close to uh, maybe a little bit west of San Antonio by Friday and then we'll see what's left of that disturbance. Try to move north uh, into north central Texas here before eventually uh, kind of fizzling out here heading into the weekend and as it approaches we will see an increasing threat for that shower or thunderstorm here Friday and Saturday especially upper level high pressure begins to regain control of the weather over the southern half of the area just in time for the 4th of July so although maybe a little bit of rain will be possible it is looking very isolated in nature that ridge if this model is correct tries to refocus itself back over the Rockies by the end of next week and that may allow a chance for some rain to return but temperatures will gradually be heating up as we go through next week. Now with that disturbance uh, moving into Texas we will see an enhanced chance for some rain but you can see it probably uh, will be below normal for most of the area. You might recall yesterday the European model did have a big swath of heavy rain over the north and western sections of the area that has gone down as it looks like most areas will still see that half an inch to an inch you can see the amounts a bit more consistently higher uh, over the southern parts of the Oracle text down towards Natchitoches so an inch inch and a half will be possible there so what we get from the models today have to keep an eye on that tropical system doesn't look like it's going to cause any uh, issues with too much rain and it does look like the heaviest rain will be over the southern sections of the Oracle text so your forecast looks like this for tonight uh, we will see a mostly clear sky another mild night for this time of year as lows will be in the low to middle 60s over the north mid to upper 60s over the south. That includes 68 in Shreveport, 64 degrees in Texarkana. Tomorrow, I expect to see the mix of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures slightly warmer as we'll see highs mainly in the low to middle 90s. 92 in Texarkana, 95 degrees for highs in both Shreveport and Natchitoches, but still not too bad on the humidity. And you can see the temperatures with the enhanced chance of rain will stay near or below normal for highs, low 90s for Friday and Saturday. Mid 90s is the chance of rain begins to decrease uh, Sunday. Mid 90s, 96 for the 4th of July as we likely will be dry and we'll see another little bit of a chance of rain late next week. And that's when temperatures should rebound back into the upper 90s for uh, daytime highs. Overnight lows also should gradually warm back up into the mid to upper 70s. So again, if you need some rain, our next best chance of rain is on the way late this week as we look ahead to the weekend. Then we should dry out just in time for the 4th of July.